everybody, here we are again. Thank you for returning to the channel if you've been here before. If you haven't, thanks for watching this video and hopefully you click subscribe down below and watch some of my other amazing content. Now today I wanna to talk about something that is very personal to me, some of you might not know, but I've studied music for four years in Vienna in Austria. I have a degree in jazz guitar and I did a little bit of composition and whole bunch of other stuff on the side. And so I wanna go over some points of why you might not want to go to college. Now I've studied with a lot of people who thought, hey, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna get my degree like it is with many other studies gonna go out there in the real world and then there's gonna be all these job opportunities for me waiting. Well, let me disappoint you, but nobody's just gonna give you a job because you have a music degree. The music industry is kind of a place where you have to kind of make up your own career path. And a lot of the times that's possible or even more probable without a college education. Now kind of tying into that is teaching. Teaching is always a great option if musicians wanna make a little bit of extra money or they're just really passionate about teaching, you know? But first you have to be good at what you do, actually be good at it. And second, teaching is also a viable option if you don't have a college degree. Now, if you wanna teach at a university or a classic music school, then it's probably a good idea to get your degree. But there's also a lot of ways where you can make a little bit of money on the side while teaching and not have a college degree, and that's private lessons. I think the most important thing with private lessons is put yourself out there and build up that customer base. You know, you're trying to sell people a service that is a luxury. Nobody needs to learn music, but a lot of people or their kids want to learn music. It is a luxury item. You have to convince people that their money is being spent wisely and that it's valuable to them. Now going on to the next point, which is nobody cares. Now, it is a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek statement, but to a certain degree, it's true. So for example, right now, I am getting paid to work at a music studio. Now, I started as an intern. That's probably the case for a lot of people in the industry. And so I talked to my boss after he hired me. He's like, hey, was it an advantage or a disadvantage that I go to college? And he was like, honestly, I don't care. I don't care if you have a degree or a piece of paper in your hand. I care about your work ethic, how you present yourself on your application and really just how much you're into music and how passionate you are about making stuff in a team. So don't be discouraged if you can't afford music school or if you just feel like it's not the right thing for you. There's still a lot, a lot of ways that you can make it in the industry. Now over here in Europe, the situation is a little bit different than in the US. So a lot of schools over here are free, but it's very hard to get into them. That's where private institutions come into play. And while they're not quite as expensive as some of the American counterparts, they still cost a lot of money that is very difficult for people to pay every month. Now in the States, of course, it is, I think, incredibly expensive to go to pretty much any kind of college, but especially music colleges. Kind of want to touch back on a point that I made earlier, which is music school is not a job guarantee. Now there's actually studies out there that show that people with liberal arts college degrees have some of the highest unemployment rates of any college graduates. Now, if you pay 30 grand a year for college, you better make back that money so you can pay your student loans. But it's kind of difficult in my opinion to justify spending that kind of money if you're not even slightly guaranteed to make that back. I just want to play, dude. That's a sentence I've heard far too many times, I believe, um, during my college education. It was by people who really just wanted to make music. Now, of course, if you do go to college, you also want to make music, I hope. But there's so much other stuff around it that you have to do. There's music theory classes, there's ear training classes, there's music business classes, assignments you have to finish, papers you have to write. And if you just want to play guitar or play drums, sing or produce, then I don't know why you would want to go through all of that. Especially if you're the kind of person who always hated school and that classroom feel, you know, when you're forced to do certain things that you don't want to do. They tell you when to go to school, they tell you when to leave. It's a little bit different in college, but it's still kind of that classroom feel of a high school. Information is a commodity. Little bit of a controversial statement again here, I know, but it's true that nowadays information is very widely available. So if you're thinking about going to college just to get that information, that knowledge, there's so many other places you can get that from. You can just do private lessons with a teacher once a week 
and I have to pay 30 grand a year for a piece of paper. There's the internet, of course. You're watching it right now. There's so much good information out there by people. Now, you have to sift through it a little more and you have to kind of take everything with a grain of salt. But let me tell you that there was a lot of bullshit in music school too. At least in the college that I went to, teachers had a lot of freedom to kind of sprinkle in their personal opinion because it's music, you know, there's not really a right or wrong. And so there were so many things that I kind of thought it was like, I don't know why you're telling me this. I just feel like it's kind of bullshit. Now, if you still think that getting a degree in music sounds pretty dope, then I have a video coming probably next week in a week and a half or so where I go over some points of why you should go to music college. But for everybody else, let me just sum it up real quick of everything that I just went over. You're not guaranteed a job with a college education in music. There's a lot of ways you can make money besides that without a degree, and teaching is always an option. It's very expensive for not being guaranteed a job after you finish the program. There's a lot more around music than just the music itself that might annoy you out of liking music. And finally, if you wanna get to the information that you need to further your career or your musicianship. There's so many resources out there that music college has kind of lost its importance over the last few decades. Now, thank you so much for watching. If you disagreed with any of my points, I'd love to talk about it down below in the comments. If you hated it, smash the dislike button. If you like it, smash that like button. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.